Wild FM listeners. This is the Ashley K show with her anime crew hanging out here at the Wild FM studios. So, how you doing, Ray? I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for having me back. Oh, it helps if I unmute your mic first. I'll try that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll say uh, thanks for having me back. <laughs> yeah, not a problem. <laughs> We're up at the station waiting for uh, Uchi to land. So we're going to hang out and BS for a little bit before we get into our topic of the night, anime that goes too far. Way too far. Or maybe not <laughs> far enough, depending <laughs> on your mood. So how was your weekend, Ray? Uh, pretty good. Um, from the last time I was here, I did a car show, the stacked motorsport event mm -hmm. at Pocono Raceway. It was actually pretty wild. Got to see some great drifting. I was in the VIP car show. A bunch of clean cars that were there. A lot of people knew what I was driving, and a lot of people took pictures of the car. And uh, it was a pretty good time. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Except for the paying $40 for breakfast and lunch. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> was it at least good? No. $6 for a monster. <laughs> what? I'm serious. $6. Never, never buy food or drink at an event, because you're always going to overpay. <laughs> <laughs> Kyung Kirga says, the beard, the myth, the legend. The beard, the myth, the legend. <laughs> so, what are some of your favorite animes that have been too extreme? You know, I'm not going to lie. One of my favorite animes, I mean, like, all time, is Elf and Lied. Oh, my God. That <laughs> just makes you feel so weird. It does, but at the end, you're like, oh. It's <laughs> like, oh, it's a cute little nice girl, and she's in pieces. <laughs> the opening scene for those of you who haven't seen it I'm sorry but the very opening scene of episode one with the girl with the cup oh my god that poor <laughs> girl I was like hi she like, there oh, goes your head <laughs> you were supposed to make it to the end <laughs> I kind of felt bad for her though because she was yeah. very clumsy and so then much for like, the plucky hey. office assistant it's her first day <laughs> you're fired <laughs> she just couldn't keep it together Apparently not. She's in two pieces. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So tonight we're going to be talking about goopy anime, violent anime, suggestive stuff, something a little too fan servicey, and how it affects contemporary anime fans today. And we said it patiently. So now we have to figure out something else to talk about while we wait for Uchi. So what other... What other fun things have you done this week? Nothing. <laughs> I work, I sleep, I work, I sleep, I work, I sleep. As a matter of fact, we went into work today and our boss told us to pack a bag for tomorrow because the nor'easter that's going to hit oh, South Jersey, we may either stay in our local area or go. So told us plan on working all weekend. So I don't even know if I'll have a day off this week. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, you got to chase that money sometimes, you know. <laughs> Aw. Uh, Keong says, well, let me share the pick of the 86 Skyline RX-7 Honda 2000 and all the other ones. Oh. <laughs> Fuji's waiting for us. <laughs> all right. I'm going to go to some music real quick, mostly because I have to run downstairs and go get Uchi. We will be right back. Stay tuned. And a wild Uchi has appeared. You a shock! <laughs> That's a great way to come in, though, to be honest. That's like one of my favorite songs of like all anime. And that was the opening theme from the original Fist of the North Star. Some more anime that's a bit too extreme for teens. Really good. It's, 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 it's a classic. <laughs> it is! And honestly, that's I feel like that would be considered more... Uh, along the softer of the the lot that actually take it extremely far. I mean, I guess if you consider heads exploding <laughs> blood spraying everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but they had they had they had techniques though that yes. you know like they had like the different color shots and like there wasn't like if you make blood a different color, it makes it okay. <laughs> Which is what they did. It was like black. <laughs> you know, it comes close, right? So I don't know. If, they, if they were to do that now, though, then 
yeah, I It'd guess. Be problematic. It would be a little bit problematic. Yeah. So first off, before we really dig deep into um, extreme anime, there's some sad news. Funimation and Crunchyroll broke up. Oh, so we're going to talk about that first? The oh, greatest no. OTP. Yeah, get rid of the fluffy stuff first. Oh, all right. Dig <laughs> deep. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, pretty much, uh, they had like a partnership for like two years. Mm -hmm. Um, it was basically kind of like one of those, like, we already have a lot of the similar, same stuff. Funimation is more known to have like the English dubs where Crunchyroll just kind of focuses solely on the subtitled content. Yes. And now that <laughs> they're splitting as of. I think it's effective, like, in December, I want to say. I thought it was, like, November. Yeah, right? it's, like, yeah, it's sooner than yeah. later. It's happening before the year's end. So binge <clears> the <throat> anime while you can on your free Crunchyroll account. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, or your free Funimation if you, you use my now. Like, If the freaking ads will stop lagging. <laughs> yeah. You don't like lag? I, I love that little wheel. Oh, that like, buffering. The best is when buffering. it plays the same commercial 20 times in a row to the point I have to restart my browser. I'm like, come on! And it's usually unrelated to anime at the same time. Are you feeling an itch in your foot? No! But we have a cream for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but last week I did check out the naughty anime in the corner Goblin Slayer. Uh -huh, but I also right. watch Cells at Work, which is the most wholesome and fabulous anime I have ever seen. Nice. Have you seen Cells at Work? Mm -mm. Why I not? Haven't. It's like basically the cells of the body, but like it anthropomorphized form. So like red blood cells, this cute ditzy airhead who's always trying to deliver oxygen and carbon dioxide wow. and nutrients throughout the body. That sounds like a lot. And then white blood cell is totally out of control. Like, ah! It's like killing bacteria and viruses all the time. It's amazing. That sounds like that Pixar movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know yeah. what you're talking about. Like, well, Chris Rock was like the voice yeah, actor. Yeah. Ricks. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this is like way better. I'm not just saying that because it's anime. <laughs> oh, I agree. <laughs> I, and Killer T cells the best because they all run around with this black hat that says kill on top. <laughs> I want to cosplay as a Killer T cell. See, when you said cells go to work, I just pictured Cell from Dragon Ball Z. And I know. I did the same thing. <laughs> I was, I'm not going to lie. Like, like briefcase with yeah, a gray briefcase. <laughs> this job is perfect. Like, say something like that. Yeah, that's, I, that's what I thought. But that's cool, though. It, so, it sounds like one of those, like, cutesy ones, right? And it's super educational, too. Oh, okay. Well, like, you that's learn nice. all kinds of crap about the human body. Like, apparently, white, white blood cells that are, like, the super badass ones that go beat up all the germs, those are natrophils. You hear that, everyone? Anime is fun and educational. And it also really can, can be. be extremely violent. And violent. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is what is what our topic is today. Yes. Um, I mean, well, I guess we'll we'll try to be as censored as possible, since a lot of this stuff is very touchy as it is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes a little too touchy, depending on which anime you're watching. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, uh, I found like a list of uh, like a bunch of shows that i feel like the viewers might recognize mm -hmm. and then i guess we could kind of like elaborate and be like well this is what it is and blah 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 whatnot <laughs> and then see go from there because i mean it's it, i don't know it's like one of those things i i, I will use berserk just to start us off <laughs> right because like berserk it, it like, starts off as one of those shows that seem like it's going to be one way, uh -huh. and then, like, a series of unfortunate events just takes place, like, extremely... Understatement of the year. Yeah, like, and then it completely changed the tone of the entire show after, like, if you're watching the anime, it's, like, the last, ep well, the last few episodes. Yeah. Um, well, the original anime. Right. Thank you for pointing that out. 1997. <laughs> Anime, not the Crunchyroll. Because, I mean, then if you do watch the Crunchyroll one, which, you know, good luck. Because the animation, it's, 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 like a, it's like a chore. It's I mean, problematic. For, for a fan, I, like, I, I'm a fan of Berserk, so I, I, I felt, like, obligated, like, I had to. Yeah. You know? Like, I was like, okay, I need to just stick it out, you know, whatever. But th that, sto that anime continues where, basically, the 97 one left off, which, uh -huh. is, which is nice. Well, no. Wait, yes. They. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to remember because they did skip a whole arc. It was like a really small arc. It was like the Lost Children arc. 
I don't know if that happened before or after, but that's besides the point. Was the Lost Children one the one in the village? Or is that the one where, like, the bees? They were, like, the, uh, it was, like, all, all the, like, the the bee children s yeah. thing. Like, the fa- no, they were, like, fairies or something. So bad. So, something like that, like, yeah. Like, Berserk's one of those shows where you cheer for consensual relations. You're, like... Yay! They wanted it to happen. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. yeah, yeah, pretty much. But uh, don't kill me. I haven't seen it. No, I know. That's okay. I, I already know. I couldn't get into it. I saw four or five episodes, and I just it just wasn't for me. That's the see. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. That's that's the deceiving part right there. I'm glad we're talking about this now because Berserk, like I said, is a show that starts out a certain way, and it's like. You know, it's almost bland, almost. Yeah, right? it's like okay, it's a war anime. Yeah, uh, you know, it's old. It's it's like very like medieval esque, mm-hmm. right? And then once you get to the part we're talking about, it completely changes, and it's just like wow. Now it's like see, and that's the thing. I can't even I can't even go in I, without having like spoilers because then that's when it starts to really pick up. There's an eclipse that happens, L- and then everything literally. goes sideways. Yeah. Well, you didn't steer me in the wrong direction with another anime that I won't talk about till later. <laughs> 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 yeah. So I think I'll take your word for it, and I'll actually try it. Yeah, no, because it's, it's a shame that sometimes certain shows take like more than just four or five episodes to like right. really see how it is. Because then again, like you get a plot twist, yeah. and you won't you won't see it coming th- that early on, you know. Yeah. So I would I wish I wish there was a way. I could just be like, Ray, it's, this <laughs> happened, but I can't tell you because it'll take away from the epicness of the show. It also doesn't help that there's been kind of like a couple of misfires with Berserk in attempts to, ad- adapt, to adapt it to an anime. The Crunchyroll. That's the, that's the misfires. I mean, now, Which series did you try to watch? The older one? The older one, yeah. Because yeah, okay. I, I didn't have a thing for the new one. I didn't like yeah. the animation style. Yeah, Ugh, yeah I don't, don't blame you. So you're already on the right track. But you just gotta keep going. I, I just can't watch anime that's not drawn well first and foremost. It doesn't have like vibrant colors and clear lines. It's just uh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the issue with the Crunchyroll one was just the fact that they hired a studio to handle it that doesn't do the the style of Berserk at all. Like I if think you, they right. also kept changing what they were trying to do halfway through the production process. Oh, about that they they so all right. So here's what they tried to do. They tried to do something unique mm. and. And that's oh. that's that's the special <laughs> word is is unique. You always want to coat your stuff up, be like, oh, like if it's if it's different and like outright just wrong, like you see you title it unique. But and what happened with Berserk was uh, they were doing this this animation style that was very like half and half. Yeah, it was like three D and then it was two D. And then it was like in the middle, and then it was just weird. And then, and then, <laughs> there were scenes that literally looked like South Park scenes, where it like literally it was like Guts was walking towards something, and he, uh, it was like <laughs> just like that. Like I'm like, <laughs> so one more reason for me what? not to watch it. <laughs> well, that's the Crunchyroll one. That's the Crunchyroll one. That's the Crunchyroll one. And so. they tried to emulate. Um, I can't remember the artist's style, but they tried to emulate his art style by putting a lot of hatching in it. You're talking about Bleach? Like the, that artist or like the, the creator of, of Berserk? The creator of Berserk. Oh, that's, that's Kentaro Miura. Yeah, they tried to yeah. emulate his, like a lot of cross-hatching in the animation. I'm like, that doesn't look good. Yeah, no, they, they did a lot of uh, bad things. In certain animes, the cross hacking hatching can work for uh, the advantage, but yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I did see the preview for it and it looked pretty gross. <laughs> <laughs> he, sounds, he sounds so disturbed just by just by like talking about bad animation. But you know, it's weird. Like they tried to like show us the potential it would have, like at the end of season two, which mm-hmm. the first season went by, everyone complained about it. Not a single good thing was said. Prob outside of okay, the the soundtrack is fine, the opening sound, the opening song is good, mm-hmm. but the rest of this is like just garbage. And so then they then then everyone was like they were everyone was hoping that they would just get a new studio to like do it properly. But no, they rehired the same person, and then they were like. 
don't worry, season two is gonna be way better. Same thing. <laughs> like nobody believes you. Don't stop crying. Same thing, and it hasn't come back since. So I mean, I don't know if if banished. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna wait until like the the new chapter comes out because that's something that the fans are waiting for right now to like kind of go hand in hand with the cross marketing promotion type stuff because that's always a thing too. I have to say, even like with the violence, the level of violence and just aggression in Berserk, like the story of Guts and Casca is like the beautiful, most beautiful thing ever. Yeah, and, and we can't even say we there. can't even say too much about it because like spoilers. <laughs> yeah, it's it it is it is a great one. But on the topic of how it goes too far, Berserk is definitely one of those shows that like I wouldn't even show to my twelve year old brother. Mm-hmm. Just because he's a little, he's a young, innocent little boy that is full of memes, just like any average kid this generation, yeah. I guess. And nice kid, you know, gets good grades, watches the anime that I suggest for him, and all that kind of stuff, and plays his games and whatnot. Stays out of trouble, you know. But <laughs> I will, n- I will be like, look, this is berserk, but I'm not showing you this yet. Why? Because you're too young. And if you see what I've seen. You will you will just be ruined your entire life growing yeah. up. Yeah. No, no. I, I started at fifteen, and the first thing I saw was Akira. <laughs> Would you say Akira went too far, though? Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. Really? I, I, I can't talk about it, but more. but calorie, her pain is inside me. Uh, Come on, that scene was pretty brutal. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we might have to do some mild spoilers. Otherwise, we can't really tell people how far these animes have gone. And honestly, if you have not seen Akira, if you've not seen Fist of the North Star or the 1997 version of Berserk, what are you doing? Yeah, Ray, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I could be like the Sith Lord. Do it. Do it now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you guys could talk about Akira. I, I like hearing about Akira. It's just one of those things I just... One of the all-time greats, in my opinion, yeah. just the animation style, because everything in today, just to jump off topic for just a moment about Akira, is what I thought was so interesting about that film is that everything now is like 3D animated or done through mm-hmm. computers. Each and every window in every scene per cell of that animation was hand-painted oh, by wow. someone in the art department. Godlike. Dedication. That's unbelievable when you think about it. And if you've seen the film and every city scene that you see, there are thousands and thousands of windows in just a 30-second scene that are moving. And it wasn't just a backdrop with things running around. Like I'd watched the whole thing on it, and they had animated each and every cell to that film. So it was crazy just, just thinking about that by itself. Or was it Tetsuo, the one that was like in all the crazy psychic powers? Uh, yes, and then Kaneda had the bike. Yeah, yeah. well, like, yeah. just him, like, reforming his arm and just, like, all the tendons and his muscle and all the random crap all over him. Yeah, like a ah, I can't imagine. In there. Tra- uh, I can't even draw fingers. I can't imagine drawing all that. Oh, I know. But brutal? How's about the bike chase when he hits the guy in the head with the pipe? Oh, my <laughs> yeah. God. You know what? Even though it's been a while since I've seen it, I remember that because I, I, remember, I remember how I reacted. I was like, oh my God, what happened? Like, yeah. I must have rewound that part four or five times just to keep watching it. You're crazy. Yeah. No, I, Akira is, uh, I, yeah, I guess you're right then. Yeah, it definitely, because I guess I, if, if, if we're going to talk about it in that, in that perspective, um, there's a lot more anime, I feel. I get cuz then it kind of more relates to like definitely like Fist of the North Star too cuz yeah. at first I was just like, oh, I mean, you know, like there's just heads exploding like <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> nothing. <laughs> no big deal, right? No, it's yeah, it's, it's pretty much I mean cuz I think about that scene that he was explaining for Makira like it was like like he said like everything to the T like the detail is all there like frame by frame like yeah. you saw like it's like you saw how soft the skull became like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying like oh man as the pipe gently caressed the side of his head <laughs> yeah. pipe caressed you see like his cortex. brains and stuff and I was like wow I'm like oh my god that's everything like actually matter of fact it's funny you bring that up because I now I remember thinking back like I questioned like my friends I were that were showing me I was like, when was this made? <laughs> yep. You know, like for that's that that adds to the appreciation that I have for that whole movie 
is the fact that like they went ahead and literally just treated it with the utmost care you know and it is what it is it's still a classic to this day now for those of you who haven't seen akira i have to bring this up if you're gonna watch it, make sure you watch the original. There is a gore scene in the film that oh, was taken out, out yeah. of the signature series, and that's the scene where the town is being destroyed and everyone's running for their lives, and a rock or this boulder, hunk of concrete, whatever you want to call it, comes down and crushes this guy, and you watch him splatter all over the place. And I was like, ah, you know. <laughs> but in the new one, it's cut out, and you're like, oh man. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys ever watch Genocyber? No. That's when I accidentally stumbled upon. I think it was like 15 or 16 going into Blockbuster getting my anime fix. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were talking about how they didn't really sort things right. And you would just. That belonged in the adult section. Mm hmm. <laughs> I still have mild kind of PTSD regarding Genocide because I was not expecting that. See, I thought it was going to be the Giver, which is very different. Yes. <laughs> I think Genocyber has been listed as one of like the most violent animes involving children ever, and they didn't lie. Uh, there was one scene where it's like this. I don't care if you guys didn't see it. Whatever. <laughs> I was going to say, you're piquing my interest. I want to know more. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. So there's this girl that escapes this medical facility, and she has these psychic powers or whatever. And her one sister's trying to hunt her down, and she's in like this mech unit. And... The girl ends up like befriending this homeless kid, and then I think there was one scene where the homeless kid ends up like getting almost sexually assaulted by this other group of kids. Wow! And then the girl kind of flips out, and like her psychic powers start coming out. Then the sister comes in, and like this is what I get introduced to. Sister comes in, and then she like has this extending claw thing that f slashes out and just smashes this one kid's head against the wall and splatters his brains, and his body starts twitching. I'm like, okay, this is what we're watching. <laughs> I'm definitely right. checking this out. <laughs> it's my up. kind of thing. He lit up. And, the, and the sister's like, yo, what are you doing? Why aren't you home right now? Dad made popcorn or something stupid like that. Like, I'm taking you home. And I'm like, this child, is, he was a bully. He was a jerk. But now he's dead. Okay, this is what's happening. And then like her little friend kid, he gets killed. And then next thing you know, there's, there's bodies burning Planes are crashing through the sky. All these other robot people are showing up and faces are coming apart. The psychic girl at one point makes a guy think his brain's full of bugs and he's like a robot creature. So he literally what? pulls out his own brains. I'm what? like, what? Really? What? Oh, What's this called again? Yeah. Genocyber. Genocyber. I'm watching this. Do you, do you know? Hold up. Let me, let me Google this. <laughs> Genocyber. Praying for you. That is. How old is this anime? Oh, that's like my that's my that's my era. Slot. <laughs> like that's the thing. Like older anime did not really shy away too much from the gore. I I agree. There was many, many titles. Like growing up, uh, do you guys remember Saturday anime on Sci Fi? Yes, that's how I think I first got my. I vaguely do because I might have stumbled upon it. Yeah, and then I just kept. Like, cause I, I'd be like, Ooh, something animated. And I would like watch it for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then like, it would it, make you feel a weird way. And then I would just keep, <laughs> and I would just keep like, hitting the, the, the channel up. Bug yeah, bunny? Like, that's, that's, that's Why actually are what happened. Why boobies so big? Yeah. The one thing I, I, I don't miss about that is if you put on Saturday anime, the movie could be 45 to an hour long, uh -huh. and because it was on Sci-Fi Channel, it was two hours every time oh, with all the commercials. Yeah, yeah. That I sucks. It drove me nuts because it really seemed inconsistent about when they were doing that Saturday anime. Because they're like, all right, cool, now I know when to watch it. Then they stopped doing it for like a month. And then it came back in the and afternoon. <laughs> Where is it? And then half the time when I watch it, it'd either be Kashan Robot Hunter or Robot Carnival. And yes! I'm like, I like Kashan Robot Hunter. I got tired after the fourth time I saw it. I'm like, <laughs> this is my only way of receiving the anime. Can I have something else, please? Please tell me you watched Rosian Z. About the old man in the hospital bed. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it was funny. And then at the end, you're like, Oh my God! <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I love. You. Wait, is this it? This is this is this is like the manga picture. I don't know if this. 
So I, I did a Google search and that's what came up. I don't remember that cover art, but well, the this name is this is the, is the manga. I never saw the manga. Okay, so oh yeah, and there's this one scene that I forgot from Genocyber, where um, there's some cops that are trying to investigate what the heck's going on, and they rescue the psychic girl that's trying to run away, and um, the medical facility that were like experiment experimenting on these sisters to do whatever nefarious bioweapon thing to them. Like, these doctors start attacking this hospital. So this cop wakes up, and he looks down at his chest, and it's, like, splayed open, and his rib cage is exposed. He's like, ah! And I'm like, ah! Yeah, and I would have freaked out as I, a kid. I would have loved it. I would Back yeah. then, if I was that young, I would have been like, ah! Dude, like, he was running down this hospital corridor, and there's literally body parts just, like, stuck on parts of the wall. And I'm like, what's going on? And he opens this door, and then these really creepy looking doctors with these masks just like carving people apart. And I'm like, why, God? Why? <laughs> why? I wanted robots. What happened? And then when you got older, you watched Elf and Lied, and those same body parts in a hospital like, were on the God? walls, and you were why? like, yes, <laughs> give me more of this. It's like, I knew what I was getting into, though. It's like, I knew Elf and Lied was messed up. I was like, all right, I'm doing this. Ugh, it's still horrible. Mm, I'm gonna watch it. I'm not sure if that was worth it, but I watched it. Wow! So you took it like bad medicine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally the best way I can relate that. Yeah. Sometimes hyper violent anime makes me feel a little queasy. I'm like, mm, I don't know why. Yeah. If I mean, if it, if 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 I've honestly ever if I've ever run into something like that, like I would just watch and it made me feel some type of way. I would just stop it like right then and there. <laughs> And I wouldn't keep, I wouldn't force myself. I would be like, nope, can't see, do it. See, at that point, it was a train wreck. And I'm like, I have to see how this ends, I guess. Yeah. I, so, yeah. So wait a minute. Then I got to ask both of you a question then. You've both seen Elf and Light, right? Mm -mm. No? Nope. Okay, then I will ask you that. <laughs> how did it make you feel with the dog? Oh, no. The bullies in the classroom? I was not happy. <laughs> and I'm like It's gonna rip your soul out humans. of your body And I'm just like humans don't They do never mind but still This is not normal behavior uh, Why would they do that I don't understand why you're dead But still it was a very There was a very Inappropriate reaction It's like wow Elf and Lie a trip How what? long is it Like tw 12 episodes yeah. is it It's Something. not long No it's a short series but uh, just to whet your appetite, we're not going to tell you what happens to the dog, but I'm just going to say that the children involved get ripped to pieces. <laughs> I mean ripped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty bad. <laughs> there is blood everywhere. <laughs> That's yeah. terrible. It's so bad. And it doesn't just stop with the violence. There's like a weird... Like with the one girl, like the quiet girl, and like the issues with her stepfather, hmm. and she gets kicked out of Step her house. Stepdaddy issues. Uh, mm. uh. And that leaves the other part of dark anime, when things aren't so safe for work. Oh, yeah, <laughs> no. It become problematic. Th thankfully, I mean, I haven't, outside of the stuff that I've seen, I'm well, I would never watch like goblin slayer or berserk like at work because oh, no. oh i would you, no. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta read the room of what kind of work you're at yeah staples i wouldn't suggest yeah no i would not See, definitely not a restaurant not. <laughs> <laughs> no what are you watching over there this <laughs> did you like your meal now yeah i no i wanted ribs but now i don't want them oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had ribs yesterday that's oh no two days ago that's uh, that's crazy <laughs> See, I'm a tree guy, so I can get away with stuff like that. Yeah, because they're like, oh, dude, cool. <laughs> no, first they'll make fun of you. <laughs> and then they'll be like, no, no, just, just, just watch the scene. <laughs> and then they'll still make fun of you. <laughs> but they'll tell you later it was messed up. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, but yeah, another, another, another show that's obviously... I'm sure this is what you want to talk about. The <laughs> 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 For those of you that didn't see that, the gul the I, I gave him a very room? evil smile. 
<laughs> Are we about to talk about the goblin shaped elephant in the room? Ye oh, yeah. <laughs> I think so. I'm right? dropping that thing with a 50 caliber round. <laughs> I told I told Ray about it last week, and I guess he listened. Well, I did, but I was so busy with doing stuff around the house that I actually was almost late coming here because I couldn't stop midway through episode two. I, I needed to know what happened, and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to be late. I need to leave, and I'm like, but no, I want to know what happens. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think so far? I think it's incredible. Yeah. yeah. I don't see any controversy. And I actually wanted to kind of get into this, if it's okay with you guys, about why people think it's inappropriate and they're calling it the worst anime ever. Oh, well, I can, I can already reassure you that that whole, that whole um, stigma is like kind of, it's been washed off. Like, there's, I don't think anyone, I think everyone's over it now, to be honest. Really? Because I was yeah. reading a bunch of stuff on that, and people are still hating hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's literally because they haven't, they have, they just haven't seen a lot of other shows that literally almost do the same thing. Right. But they, like, they focus on the one clip that's like five seconds long it's not yeah. even that bad I, like i was and, expected it to be yeah, horrid like they, they made it so that you like you can obviously get what's about to happen yeah. or what was happening right. through that poor girl in the cave by the goblin you know what i'm talking about now <laughs> and, and they had it so like you you didn't physically actually see the action taking place you just mm -hmm. They gave you all the clues that, you know, Scooby was able to figure that one out, too. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you didn't need to do that. <laughs> yeah. And you put two and two together. It's like, bam, she's, you know, getting wrecked. And, it's, and it sucks. And it's like, but that was also part of why. It, it's part of the buildup to the show. Yeah. To make you, from the get-go, hate the goblins. I was just going to say that it was I thought it was a great tactic that yeah. whole opening scene with the other characters as well with mm -hmm. the the turmoil that she has to endure mm -hmm. watching all of this happen and then bam you know that happens and you're like mm. Mm. That was her first day on the job too, like that plucky office assistant from up yeah. <laughs> But she did well, I guess she wet herself, but she didn't get her head cut off. So at least she gets to live. She's yeah. in episode two, so that's a good thing. And she brought armor this time. <laughs> yeah. Chain mail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I mean, um, like <clears throat> moving past that, like when you when you eliminate that one part of everything else that happened mm -hmm. within episode one. Um, because again, like I said, they, everyone focuses like their attention to that, but then everything else gets a pass all of a sudden, all of a sudden, like dude literally gets like mangled. Yeah. Right. Like, but that, they don't say nothing about that. Like you, no one says anything about that. You talking about the guy with the sword? The, the, you're like, <laughs> Ting. Yeah. Yeah, like, he's like, <laughs> keep a grip on it, bro. What are you doing? Yeah, he like acts like he's like the hero. He brings a longer sword to the party, and he can't even fully swing it because it hits the roof of the cave. And then he gets stabbed violently about a hundred times. Yeah, but like <laughs> even with heavy sticks. Yes. Yeah, and then, but that gets like I said, like that that is written off. Like okay, we can accept this. No, like that, that like I don't see any like heavy difference because I think they're both very bad. Yeah. You know? Like they goes too far. Like you literally it's it's almost like they, they pull it an attack on Titan. They yeah. literally like episode one, they get you attached, <laughs> right? Mom Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they get you attached, right? From the start, you have like an like some kind of low key emotional attachment because they make you feel all the emotion with what they reveal and they share with you and mm -hmm. then next thing you know, everyone's dying. Left and right. So you know what's weird? Like, I could not get into Attack on Titan because for me, it was, like, too much. Oh, I, well, I was going to ask I was you. like, oh, oh, crunched into him like a Slim Jim. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like so you didn't see the part where he falls into the Titan's stomach and he's in, like, the body part soup? No. <laughs> you don't remember seeing that? <laughs> no, I think I made it to, like, the first episode and a half. And I'm like... What's the point? People are just getting eaten. I'm leaving. And then I think I watched Elf and Line after that. I'm like, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> that was actually, I'm glad you brought that up because um, 
that was another show on my my small list that I I literally just thought of that was, I was going to question both of you guys. Would you consider like a show like Attack on Titan like going too far? And I guess based off what you said, that I guess does as well. Like I don't feel that it like personally. I don't feel it goes too far. It just wasn't my cup of tea. But uh, I'm wondering if that's the difference between maybe like older, more seasoned veteran anime fans and maybe newer ones. I agree with that. Because we we already had our scars from things like Ninja Scroll, <laughs> Jetta Cyber, Fist of the North Star. So we like we got our toes wet a little bit. We know what to expect and we also know what we want to see in an anime. I don't think Attack on Titan like I, I agree with you 100%. I don't think Attack on Titan goes too far. Just because right out the gate, episode one, you mm-hmm. already know what you're in for. Right. You know, you have these giant creatures and <laughs> mom is dead. And you're like, what just happened? Yeah. <laughs> and all right, I guess I'll keep watching this. And then you watch <laughs> the next episode and somebody else gets nommed. You know, and you're like, yeah. wow, uh, okay, so this is about people getting eaten and people trying to kill giant creatures. All right, this is kind of cool. And yeah. then you get into the story and you're like, this is awesome. Yeah. It's yeah. really good. I think you should give it another tra- My another idea shot. Is why didn't they just build an underground city and call it a day? <laughs> <laughs> For the same reason why Gandalf didn't give the ring to the eagles to fly to Mordor. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is that you just gotta keep watching. <laughs> You just gotta keep watching because you never know. Like that's that's a very educated uh, suggestion for the for the show. So, I mean, I'm just saying you should just like you should keep watching Berserk. You should keep watching Attack on Titan. All right, I'll make you a deal then. I will continue watching Berserk, and you should continue watching Attack on Titan. We'll do it together because <laughs> I'm really not into like the Berserk thing, but because he's telling me to give it a chance, I will. Mm. But at the same time, we're asking you to give it a chance. Okay. Now, should we have him watch the movies? Because, like, I'll be honest, the really fun stuff happens after the eclipse. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this is what I always suggest to people. Like, if you want to get, like, the the closest thing to the manga adaptation in, like, a, like a, like a, like a nice bundled format. Right. I think... Watching the original anime first is good, and if you enjoy it, right, then I would say like and like at that point when you like say to yourself like man I can't believe I I skipped out on this like Uchi was right this and that and like I just love Berserk like I am I am all in right then you can go back and then watch the the film adaptations that they did which were good I will say that it's not like on some Crunchyroll level stuff mm. animation was fine yeah. Um and but, how about the story though? Story, yeah, the story's all there. Pulls you in, everything like that. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah. like one of the characters. Yeah, like it's it's trust me, it's good. And then like what she was uh, referencing is that at the end of the third, so what they did was it's twenty five episodes, nineteen ninety seven anime, right? And then like I want to say like early two thousand tens or so, like around these those yeah. years, they re released um the same twenty five episodes in three movies. So it was like a trilogy, and it's kind of like a shortcut, but I'm not suggesting you watch those first, even though that technically would be the faster way to to get it all done. But then there's things that they don't even include that happened in the anime, which happened in the manga, that don't happen in the movie. So it's sort of like Initial D Legends, Box 1, 2, and 3. Did They they essentially do the same thing. And Tell me if it's the same or not. Like What they did is they condensed the seasons into films, added a couple things, and you could literally watch the three movies and know almost everything that happened. Yeah, like you you will get the, the point will be will come across to you like just fine like you'll get like the main like plot and what's actually happening but then there are certain things that that were not present in the films that were in the anime um that actually add to the characters that i think is important was the skull knight in the movies yes all right so that's a big thing yeah yeah skull knight important yes skull knight is definitely uh he plays an important factor um i don't remember how often he did show up though but I know that he's obviously a key player in the whole thing. Um, and what you were saying, that there is something that they did at the end of the third movie that kind of dives into the manga a little bit that the anime actually didn't do. So like, for, it's like what I'm trying to say is 
episode 25, which is the last episode of Berserk, all the things that happen happen, and then they kind of just like, you're done. Like, that's it. The end. Like, Escaflone done? Or <laughs> just kind of leaves you, like, hanging? <laughs> well, it le- mm, I wouldn't say hanging, because there's a definitive period to that, that whole, like, book, you know? Okay. And then what they do is the last shot is Guts in the current, like, standing. And then you just see him, like, triumphantly, like, with his sword or whatever. And then, like, that's, 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 that's it. But then the movie, it literally... From the ending point, from the you know, same thing in the anime, they then have another scene, which is literally like if you were reading the manga, you turn the page, that's what's happening, you yeah. know. And I thought, I was like, Whoa, this wasn't in the anime, <laughs> I'm like, oh crap, like they're gonna keep going. And then and you watch it, and then it goes back to what Ashley was saying was like, it then just the whole everything just 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 comes changing. together it comes together and then it like it's like a whole new like everything because it, it like i can't i can't say i just can't like there is such a difference between the events that happened before the eclipse and then after it's literally like two different animes and you're like what the hell yes it's like an alternate future with alternate guts it's a yeah that's a, that's a good way to put it because it's like it's literally like this is probably one of the best plot twists that I've ever seen in any show. <laughs> Interesting. Like, yeah. So it's 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 very hard to explain it without like giving you the exact details because I could literally just be like blah 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 and you'd be like wow that's crazy. <laughs> I, Thanks for saving it. Now yeah. I don't have to watch it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You'll become an accolade of guts yet. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm telling you right now, you're gonna yes. Yeah, that's just, it. Yes. Join the yes. band of the hawk. On a scale of one to even, I just can't right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But um, as far as uh, other stuff that might go too far, you brought Attack on Titan. I'm glad we talked about that a little bit because I definitely think, I mean, I agree with you too. Like, I don't really think it goes too far. I think that the way they, they like, uh, they handle everything is done in a fashion that, like, you can expect it. like it, it like it, it trains you right you know like like now whenever i see a character i've never seen before i know they're dying <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know like like it like attack on titan has taught me to not get attached to people like and and i realize this because you could actually kind of sense this in other shows too they take the kind of same like elements where it's like they want you to feel for the person and that's and they did that with Goblin Slayer too. They did the first episode with that 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 group of four, right? That went into the cave. They're like, I thought they were the main characters. I was like, oh, is this guy gonna be the Goblin Slayer? Like whatever. And then as soon as they were getting close to that cave, and like they're really setting me up, setting me up. And I was like, you know what? My educated fan in me is gonna, is telling me <laughs> like my my educated senses are tingling, right? <laughs> I was like, they're dead, aren't they? Some fools about to die. They are all dead, aren't they? Like oh my wamo shin deru, they're all already <laughs> dead. Like. Straight up, <laughs> and as and as soon as the first goblin came out, I was like, "Good game, that's it." Like, and then the rest happened, and I was like, "Wow!" Like, what idiots walk into a freaking hot? Like, you don't just walk into a nest of goblins. It's a good way to get surrounded. And then they split the party. Because another thing I appreciate about Goblin Slayer, it's heavily based on D and D. But oh, the, the whole, like, elements of, uh, like, everyone has, like, a different role. Yeah, like, so, healer, it's like fighter. A game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be honest with you, I got more of, like, a Sword Art Online kind of feel from it because it felt just like that. I was like, okay, this looks just like the hotel that they're in in mm-hmm. some of the episodes. And I'm like, all right, am I watching Sword Art Online? <laughs> Crossover. And then somebody gets stabbed, and I'm like, hey, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're picking, business is picking up, right? Yeah, but... um. Yeah, that's why that's 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 why I wanted to bring up because um, shows like Italian Titan, like they kind of like um, they kind of like get you prepared for what's to come, and like even at that point, like they kind of condition you to be like us, where like we can like, we know like when someone's dying, and then like if someone that we didn't see dying or appearing or something just crazy just happens all together. It still gives us the element of like surprise, and we're like, yeah. "Wow!" Like it just it, it solidifies why the show's so good. Mm-hmm. Um, like I remember, there was a certain event that took place, like literally within like the first like four episodes, and the main character something happens to him, and I look at my brother, I'm like, "How are they gonna do this?" 
He's the main character. Like, I don't understand. And we just kept watching because we wanted to know what happened. So, but again, it was like, it took things like too far, especially like you could, like when the argument is it doesn't take it too far because obviously like every time a Titan comes through, it's like, oh, well, someone's going to get eaten. Someone's arm is yep. going to get snapped off or, you know, something like that. But then, but the Attack on Titan can get very political too. Mm-hmm. Like there's episodes where it's like they need to cool down from all like the craziness that happens, and yeah. there's just dialogue and stories set up and all that kind of stuff. And then you like there's backstories and you learn more about like the origins and like all the information that culminates together. And you add it all in, you steer it up, and Attack on Titan's godlike. <laughs> it's just it's just a great show. It is good. Like the whole thing for me with Attack on Titan is I loved season one. Season one had the perfect mixture of story and violence. Like one minute you're like, yeah, die. And then the very <laughs> next minute you're like, oh, yeah. mom, really? Oh. <laughs> and then you're like, yeah, they're more killing, you know? And, and then you get to season two and you're like, what is going on right now? Like, why is this a thing? And then it's only 12 episodes. So like season one is like stupid long. Mm-hmm. And then you get to season two and you're like, bam, there's 12. Good luck. Goodbye. And then okay, you get we're done by. well, season three is finished now, right? No, so what they're doing is kind of um, <clears throat> they're smarter with how they're doing it now because it gives the fans like the knowledge that okay, it's not like you don't have to worry about it. We're not taking another like crazy long hiatus of three years or anything. Like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, it's the Kingdom Hearts of the anime world. Oh my god. <laughs> That's good, um, but yeah, they did. Like, I think how they're 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 organizing it is just they're looking at all of the arcs that that happen in the manga because the manga is a, a chapter a month kind of series. So mm-hmm. twelve chapters a year, you can catch up with that very easily, like very fast. So the re- like part of the reason why I feel like they waited so long for season two and then they made season two so short is so that way the manga can still get like a, a decent you know um length away from where the anime is because now in season three they did 12 more episodes and now it's 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 done for now and they already announced that the second half of season three is airing oh. in the spring so that way again they're still within the same season but they're also giving us a 24 episode or 25 episode um season Mm -hmm. um so that way it's like you know once it's all done you get your blu-ray sets or whatever it's all within like you know the one nice you know collection and it's like okay this is season three even though they had to split it up between two years because like you know they had the summer it lasted like 12 episodes and then like now they're taking a little break and then they're coming back in the spring to finish off season three because once they finish that they like right now as it is they're they're so close to where the manga's at right now so if they were to like if they were to finish off season three right now, like let's say if they just kept, you know, episode 13, 14, whatever, like were to happen like within these few weeks and when they kept going, they would literally be like chapters away from where they are in the manga. So I wonder if they're gonna do it like Sword Art, where it was broken down into two arcs. Like season one was arc one and two, and but it was still season one. Mm-hmm. And then you go into season two and it's arc three and four, or if they're just gonna run it clean through. Well, yeah, I mean, that's why the, it, they could have run, ran it clean through, but um, they're 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 kind of they're trying to play with they're trying to play like well with the manga, so that way, because like they are avoiding because if if they catch up, then you have to question. Okay, we're gonna get fillers. They're not. They don't want to do fillers. I hate fillers. Yeah, see, <laughs> fillers kind of detract people away, and for and to to to, to make sure that the show stays hot. Mm-hmm. You don't want fillers. That's why, like, a show like My Hero Academia, like, you don't really ever see fillers from that because, yeah. like, it's like the same thing. It's like they come back every spring, and they do like, um, like twenty four, twenty five episodes. Mm-hmm. I think one. I think season two was that. Oh no, season one was the short one, and then after that, they did all of them. All of them have been like twenty four, twenty five episodes long. So, um, my next question was: Would you consider Death Note going too far? Nah. No, because it's very cerebral. But then again, it's like, I'm not sure because I'm not like a newer anime fan that's not used to the different stuff. Because it's like, I'm wondering if people having a problem with Goblin Slayer right now 
It's like anime with things like Crunchyroll and Funimation now. Like it's just so much easier to get a hold of anime. Yeah. So you have everybody watching it, and it's not that difficult to get a hold of it. So you don't like treasure whatever you find, even if it's emotionally scarring, like Genocider. Because <laughs> there were six things for me to choose from in Blockbuster. So it's just like you see that, and then you just automatically react, like, "Oh my god, that's horrible!" And I'm like, "You take that anime, and you like it." <laughs> There are starving otaku in Kansas. I can't get anime right now. <laughs> wow. That does suck. Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> Kansas. <laughs> yeah. So. I mean, I, I think that's changed, too, to be honest with you. So I was going to mention some of this before about the Goblin Slayer. We okay. had spoke briefly before mm-hmm. about this. And I kind of feel like because of Crunchyroll, it's making anime way more accessible to people that weren't that wouldn't bat an eye to it. You know, it's kind of like a fad these days. Like yeah. if it's cool to be a nerd now, you know, right. yeah. back then, you, yeah, back then, you know, I, I mean, me personally, I got beat up for watching Pokemon, you know what I mean? And now it's like, Oh, you watch Pokemon? Me too. What episode are you on? So now like more people are getting into this and now like everybody has a voice where it's back then. Like you were saying, you're like, Oh man, this is great. I'm never going to not watch this. <laughs> you know, I still got VHS tapes from stuff that nobody's even heard of because you yeah. couldn't get it. And now it's like, oh, well, did you watch Sword Art Online? Uh, pfft, who hasn't seen Sword Art Online? Oh, well, I just finished it. Thanks. Uh, okay. And then you hear him talking about something else. And, oh, this anime is bad. And this one's new. Like, what? How many are there now? You know? It, yeah. So now everybody's getting into it. So I feel like with Goblin Slayer, uh, you know, they weren't raised like we were with stuff like we were saying earlier, Fist of North Star, Akira, even Iria. Is there in the animation? I don't know if either of you have seen that. No. This weird alien thing can't be killed. Its head is, it's got like two heads, and okay. the one that's in its head like comes out and just chews through people's bodies. Oh, so it's, pre- it's pretty crazy. So it's an OVA, and it was actually a live action movie in Japan prior to the animation. So the animation, obviously, I saw first, and I didn't know for years there was a movie, but it's, it's pretty good too. Uh, on the same subject for that matter like mm. this thing's constantly killing stuff so back then I kind of feel like if you were into anime that's kind of like what you watched you know like oh wait somebody's dying in this yeah. scene and you're like I'm watching yeah, the right like, stuff you, you know gonna see this in Bugs Bunny <laughs> but, <laughs> <laughs> what's up Doc yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know and, and now now what do you have now there's a lot of fluffy anime. You know, there's, there's a ton of magical girl anime. A ton. You know, yeah, it, but then you have Madoka Magica. I loved that. It was incredible. I heard that was crazy too. <laughs> uh-huh. Really That's good. That's a little bit too far. I, I kind of do feel like that could be included, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, absolutely. That definitely did go too far. From what I've heard. This just took a turn. Yeah, because I've only seen, I've the only episodes I watched was the episodes that like were just like nothing was really happening and I like well, there's just I would, magical girls. Yeah, like I told my friends that told me to watch I was like guys like I don't understand like what's so crazy about this show. And I, I did didn't the even, same thing. I didn't even I didn't even get to the part that I'm sure you guys are referencing right now yet. See, for me, though, it hooked me as soon as Mommy pulled out all those guns. I'm like, guns? Anime? What? I thought this was Magical Girl. This is nothing like Sailor Moon. You know? And then I was hooked. <laughs> That's funny. Definitely give that another shot. No, I, I, I want to finish it. By the time you up. get to the end of it, like, without even watching the movies, at the end, you're like, wait. That's been going on the entire time? Oh. Uh, I think in season three, it started, like, that's when you realize that, oh. Okay, it's one of those anime. All right. I'm going to need a therapist. I thought it was like 12 episodes. It's like, I can't remember. There was one episode where, like, the one girl made friends with this other girl and things went. Yeah. Yep. That's exactly the episode I was referencing. Is that (laughs) right there? Yep. Can we spoil just a tiny, like, it's not even really that big of a deal, but I kind of want to whet your appetite. I mean, go ahead. Are Are you okay with me doing that? Go for it. I'm sorry, everyone. So the whole thing Spoiler. is that these magical girls are to suck up witches, like, I'm just going to call it like an evil energy. Okay. But when their crystal gets too dark, they flat out die. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, need, you need to watch this anime. <laughs> okay. Oh, he didn't even twist. And it gets better from there, too. Because I didn't even know about the crystal thing. I just knew about the other stuff. And I'm like, ooh. That was in one of the earlier episodes where they explained it. Okay. And then it's going to mess with your mind 
on the same note because when they enter into like the witch's realm, it's done with like animation and then like cut and paste like something you would do in like you know a scrapbook and you're like what is going on and, and then they, they come out of it and you're like okay we're back to normal animation again it's pretty weird so kind of like with the stuff you'd see in Haosu oh. I didn't want to watch that that's a really old weird ho- Japanese horror movie called House but they pronounce it Haosu oh well is that the one where the piano eats the dude yeah. or the chick yeah. she's playing it and then it just gobbles her up yeah. <laughs> what <laughs> yeah yeah dude <laughs> <laughs> I need to find it. I don't know where it is. It is so weird. I love Japanese horror movies. I can't. I'm not a horror guy. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't be able to handle my uh, the Japanese horror ones. Definitely not. Oh, but uh, Zerum is slightly a horror film. Zerum? I've never seen Zerum. Well, that's the whole Eerie thing I was telling you about. Oh, okay. So Zerum is the movie, and that's it's kind of like a horror kind of thing. It's, I think you'd like it. But one thing I definitely want to talk about, that was I just didn't even realize it until we were just talking now. Um, an anime from the past, it came into the future, Devilman. Oh, the Crybaby? Yeah. I've heard about that one. I was just to say, everybody's been telling me to check it out, but I, I'm real bad with reboots. I, I just personally, I can't do it. <laughs> What's interesting is they didn't pull any punches. Like they have the ending from the manga from the seventies. Oh. Was it as good they as the original though? Around. Well, the original came out in the seventies. The animation <laughs> is better. I think. <laughs> well, no, I mean, like you know, great, you know. I mean, yeah, but Gundam was nineteen seventy nine and the first series, and everybody loves that. You know, yeah, you, but you the can't compare it to Devil Unicorn. Man animation was bad. Yeah. It was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Capital Good B. lord! <laughs> it was pretty bad. <laughs> it's like Crybaby, and the animation has an acquired taste, but does not pull any punches with the sex, the sex, the violence, and uh-huh. everything. I did watch the opening of that, mm-hmm. the club scene, and I was like, "All right, so okay," <laughs> but I'm still kind of like up in the air about it. But I'm just gonna say that. Opening club scene or whatever, wherever it was in the anime, uh-huh. my buddy showed it to me, and it's just, it's unbelievable. Like, it, dude, I, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if I can say you that, but memory glands, but the chick's like stuff turns into like a mouth, <laughs> like, and, and just and eats just this dude. Like eating everybody. <laughs> yeah. like, oh no, no, no! Like hungry, hungry. Hippos. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, yes. Her uh, her lady bits turn into a giant mouth <laughs> with teeth. Yes, Bree Williams, Junji Ito. I love Junji Ito. I didn't freaking what? What? The hell? <laughs> Do you realize? I'm no. I'm not. I can't even talk about that. I can't. <laughs> You'll never look at your girlfriend the same way again. You just be like. <laughs> I'll scream first. <laughs> <laughs> Get that thing away from me! Oh <laughs> and she's like, what the hell happened? Nah. Let me and show you something real quick. He watched Devil Cry, babe. You're going to need to give him a minute. Wait, but on some real stuff, though, I really, uh, I really, I know that that show in particular, like, it doesn't, it, like, hit people hard, like, because everyone that I've ever talked to that has seen it, they all say they cried. Yeah, it gets rough. Every single person that I've talked to, like, they'll literally be, like, straight up there, like, they're like, dude, like, it is such an emotional roller coaster. Like, yeah. it's a good show. It's crazy. And it made me cry. Like, literally, everyone's like, and it made me cry. And it made me cry. And it, I'm just like, I don't know if I want to watch this then, because, like, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, it's like, it starts out as, like, a fun, super violent romp. And then just, like, it just gets bigger and bigger. And then, it's like, then the consequences start coming in for all the stuff that's going down. And it just gets more desperate, and it gets a little more nihilistic, and it just gets bad, and nobody wins. And then there's a, a girl that apparently has Chomp Chomp. <laughs> well, that's episode <laughs> one. It's a Chomp we, Chain. <laughs> we, start off with a, we start off with a Hungry Hungry Hippos. <laughs> no, my you know, every time you say that, I'm picturing that scene with the kid smashing the top of it from the commercial. Hungry Hungry Hippos! Like, oh my god. He, he thought he was going to smash it. <laughs> uh, he got smashed, all right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> is that wait? Is that twelve episodes? Or is that longer or shorter? Uh, no, it wasn't that long. I think it was like 12, 13 episodes. 
Okay. Now I just made myself sad because I thought of the ending. Uh huh. Yeah. And then the mood changed. <laughs> Wait, but you haven't seen it. You only saw that. No, one I only part, saw that right? one yeah, part. No, see, yeah, I, I have to watch that. I haven't. I haven't seen it at all. See, the problem is though, that, like that part was cool and all, but it wasn't enough to to hook me back in to like uh. check out the rest of it. Like mm-hmm. you know. There was not you enough. Skip to the end and watch it, and then if you're interested enough, like watch maybe some of the middle parts. So you know what, why, how we got here. <laughs> <laughs> then, then I'll be the first person to tell you, bro, I didn't cry at the end because <laughs> I, <laughs> I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah. I mean, there's. I, I can't think of any other ones that outside of the list that I made. Um, have you guys heard of Prison School? No. I have heard of it. Isn't that like very risque? Oh, I guess. Apparently. Yeah, because I found the list of like um, anime that, you know, go too far mm-hmm. in that sense. And obviously, Berserk was on there. We talked about that. Go- well, this was an older article, so Goblin Slayer wasn't on there. Yeah. But I mean, I'm sure if it was the made Goblin yesterday, now, Goblin yeah. Slayer would have been on there, <laughs> right? There's a show called Black Butler. <laughs> I've heard of it. I've only seen like maybe one or two episodes. I have no desire to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I have heard many different things from many different <laughs> genre of people oh. about that anime. So it has me at one of those points. Where I'm just like, I don't really know if I want to check this out. Yeah, you know? Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, have you heard? I've, I haven't watched it myself. I've watched I know a couple of it. episodes, just like um, it didn't really hook me. Mm. Like I almost felt like the Black Butler was just kind of like, well, you're Alucard, but a butler. <laughs> nice. It's like right. I'm just gonna go watch Helsing. Helsing might be an anime that went too far. But did you watch Helsing Abridged? Yes. Abridged. Love I cannons. watched the original. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the original '90s anime, which was. Uh, it was there, but Ultimate is great. I have seen the, the entire new one. manga, and freaking the author of that series. I can't remember his name right now. Yasuhiro Naito? Or is that the guy that did Trigon? Anyway, he's a bastard. Like, his plot twist, and like, you're serious right now? Oh, God. Yep, but I love it. There's like Nazi werewolves and vampires, and so much blood everywhere, and so much violence. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. Have you heard of uh, Nissen Monogatari? No. Huja, huja what? <laughs> Nissen Monogatari. <laughs> <laughs> Nissen Monogatari, yes. I know Mono is part of like the word Bakemono, which is monster. But yeah, I'm just bringing them up to see if you guys know or if anyone in the chat knows. Kaiju. By, Kaiju's monster. Isn't that monster? Kaiju's monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Golden Boy. Oh, Golden Boy. Uh, I could talk about Golden Boy. <laughs> you, I know. I, uh, after th- we got off air last week, he was, he was telling me that I need to definitely watch this show. And I, when I saw it on this list, I was like surprised. I was like, wait, it goes too far? Like, maybe you can elaborate Absolutely. A bit. I right. would love to. <laughs> All right. So for those of you who haven't seen Golden Boy... Uh, Golden Boy is a very odd anime. It's an anime that was actually classified as hentai, but there's no, like, sex scenes in it. There's no nudity, you know. It, it's, well, I'm, 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 you do see, you know, the tatas, but you don't see anything else like that. So what this anime is about is a super brilliant man who drops out of college before graduation and just does odd jobs with his whole life. It's a very, very short series. If memory serves me correct, it's either six or eight episodes. It's very short. But it is unbelievably hilarious if you have, like, sick humor. You know, and it, it's... <laughs> by, by sick, I don't mean, like, oh, this is a disgusting scene. I mean, just, it's very adult jokes. It's hilarious. Like, I'll give you an example. There's a, uh, a girl who rides a motorcycle and the motorcycle is called the BMO baby and everybody I turn on to this uh, this anime I show them this episode first 
So what happens is, is he's a pervert, and he draws in his notebook like the women and and their their bra sizes and stuff like that. But he learns like so much from working for them. But it just so happens every one of his bosses is a super hot anime girl. Of course. You know? Naturally. <laughs> so Naturally. this one scene, this girl's riding this Bimota motorcycle. And the whole, I'm going to say the first like minute of this thing is she's grinding on the motorcycle, having an orgasm on top of the bike, right? <laughs> and he's in the back going, vroom, vroom, ooh, I wish it was a motorcycle seat, you know, and it's going back and forth for a while. And then she takes off, and I can't tell you who she is, but he finds out who she is. And like she exposes her herself to him, you know, he walks in and she, the first thing she says is, "You have an erection, don't you?" He goes, "Yeah," and puts his head down and turns bright red. So I know it doesn't sound too hilarious talking about it, but when you watch it, you're, you're going to lose it, absolutely lose it. <laughs> but it's definitely kind of on the fan servicey side as far as like bouncing jubblies and stuff like that. But it is definitely a great watch if you just want to hang out with your friends and just watch. Some Something so ridiculous, it, it, it's unreal. I'm, I'm telling you, you have a great time. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. So, do you like my swimming? <laughs> hey, do you like my swimming? <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to watch that with friends then, because, uh, yeah, I feel like it would just be more enjoyable if I was to like actually like watch it with a group of people, and we're all like together. We're all like, what? Like, I have a brilliant idea for you. Uchi Games Channel has a. Oh, not reacting to it. <laughs> Come on, no, man. It's not happening. It's not happening. Cause it's supposed to be wholesome, family-friendly content it, on it, channel. It, 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 that channel. That's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> All of that description, I can't. I would put my channel at risk being like, oh, you, you used, like, uh, third-party content that's, like, mature and blah, blah, blah. Like, it would just be so you random. age-gated. Like, I literally, like, I do the very Shonen-esque stuff, like, reactions, reviews. Like, I'll even do, like, reactions to, like, uh, like superhero movie trailers or, like, video game trailers, stuff like that. Like, that's very, like, straightforward. Like, oh, it's, like, it's totally fine. Like, that? <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, I might have a brilliant idea for you. Uh -oh. You remember how you had Cartoon Network? And then you had Toonami for adults. Well, maybe you could have Uchi Games, the family-friendly channel. And then at 8 o'clock at night, <laughs> Uchi, after, Uchi dark. after Dark, yes! <laughs> Where it's 18 and older. I feel like that has to be like a Patreon thing, to be honest. You guys heard it here first. That would be, that would be like an exclusive, like... Get a petition going. It would be like, if, if, if yeah, if you're People a patron, then you'd you get that. People would be sending you pallets full of tentacle... Porn. Nah, see, nah, 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 nah. I'll tell you that right now. No octopus is going to be on my screen unless it's a Pokemon, all right? Uh, well, so I'm pretty sure that exists. No, no, no. Pokemon. Not, no third party, this and that. You find in the back at FYE. No. Pokey TRM. No. 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 Missy's getting frisky. Yeah. <laughs> With Starmie. <laughs> you guys are sick. Tentacruel. This needs to stop. <laughs> Have we gone too far? I think so. <laughs> or just far enough. Yeah. I think it was just far enough. Yeah. yeah. Um, huh. Golden Boy. Yes. Um, oh. There's also, I didn't write it down because I was like, wait, why, why? But then I can, like, I guess to a degree understand why it was on the list. Um, do you guys know of Shogeki no Soma, Food Wars? Food Wars. Uh, okay, this is perfect. I've heard of Food Wars. Okay. Is that because they get orgasmic about their food? Yes. So, okay. <laughs> so this is. Oh, I heard about this. Okay. Now I will explain it because I have actually seen the first, like, two episodes, okay? And it was perfect because I was with, like, five friends in my house when they showed me. Cause, and it was random. Like, we were literally, like, all just, like, hanging around, playing games and stuff. And then the next thing you know, I forget which friend it was, but he was like, dude, I need to show you Food Wars, like, right <laughs> now. Because you're going to freaking freak out, and I want to see your reaction. And I'm like, okay, sure. Like, excuse me, this isn't, like 
something I would be able to do on my channel, right? And then they were like, probably not because it's very <laughs> like risque, but it's in Shonen Jump. So it's like, okay, so it's not, it can't be that bad, right? For some reason, this is probably one of the rare occasions that uh, an anime got loopholed into Shonen Jump, a.k.a. <laughs> a, a, like a serialized weekly magazine that comes out in Japan that is like pushing the bar. Like, here's the line. And they're like, they're doing that, you know? Like, so basically what, what it's about is obviously uh, Food Wars, you can already assume that, okay, it has something to do with food. It's like a cooking anime, whatever, right? It is that, but they take it to the next level, probably to the next hundred levels, because what ends up happening, I'll tell you like the basic like synopsis or what I can remember, um, is that uh, I, I forget the main character's name, but he is um, he actually he's obviously a cook, and he gets it from his dad. His dad is like out in like United States cooking for like famous people or whatever, and he's over here back in Japan at home, and he's trying to. He, he's he's trying to uphold his uh his like family restaurant or whatever. And it's like a little like small like shop, a little like small shop or whatever, like in the in the corner of like a street or whatever. And then one day like the government knocks on his door and they're like, we're we're trying to make new property, so we're gonna have to like take your your store down. And he's like, you're not doing that because we own this. We don't have to like you you can't like evict us for no reason, right? And then. The girl and the two government guys are like, there's literally nothing you can do to stop us from doing it. Like, we are the government, blah, 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 right? And so he's like, what if I made you a dish right now to change your mind? And if I wow you, then you have to leave us alone. You have to leave this place alone, right? So she goes, fine. I'm sure, like, there's nothing that you could satisfy, like, my taste buds, right? Like... This guy, literally in the most anime fashion, whips on the apron, ties it all up. He gets all his ingredients right. <laughs> He's chopping things. He's like, and the animation's really good. It's like on point. Like for food, I was like, whoa, like I'm hungry now. Like what's going on, <laughs> right? So he's mixing it up. He's making making all this stuff. He's doing all this crazy like techniques, like to just cook like this 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 like meat or something. And next thing you know, he puts it on the plate and he's just like this, cross his arms. And he's like, try it. And they each have a bite. After the first bite, they all, first of all, their clothes just like disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> like they, they just exploded off and they all had orgasms. Like straight up. Like, like legit orgasms? Legit. Or, <laughs> like they were on the floor. Like it was, it, I, when I saw that happen, my friends were just dying at me because I was just like, what is this? Like, <laughs> like I was laughing because it was like so funny. Like they had something that tasted so good to them that they just they literally like their bodily emotions couldn't even handle the food and how I good. Oh, you were gonna say fluids? Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> they no. couldn't handle it either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they could, but but yeah. So that was on the list, and I was like, I mean, I, I guess it's, I guess it does constitute as taking it too far because it's like it's food, it's food, and it's so it's like. It's taking an exaggeration and making it, like, literal. Like, I'm sure, like, we've all said something like, oh, my God, like, this food is so orgasmic or whatever and stuff like that. Right. Like, when you have something really good. Food Wars, Shogeki no Soma, literally was, it exemplified that perfectly. And I was like, I mean, it's, I'm sure if I continued to watch it, I would be hooked on it. But I just never got back to continuing it after that day. But... Because literally after that day, like the next morning, we were making breakfast and we we're all just making jokes. Like we were, take, <laughs> we, were, we, were, we were like making eggs and like pancakes and stuff. And like after everybody, we were like, oh, like whatever. Like <laughs> it was a super fun. But yeah. So is that is that something that you guys would check out yourselves? Food wars. Uh, I don't know. You, you kind of piqued my interest. <clears throat> yeah. So food wars is one of those shows, I guess, that constitute as uh, something that. Uh, goes too far, I guess. I mean, from that degree, yeah, I, one hundred percent, I think that that John goes too far, just because of the fact is like you're eating something and then your clothes just <laughs> disappear, like they just blow off, like 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 literally, like it was one bite, and then like they have like that anime, like like that moment, the right? line that the goes line. through, yeah, the line that goes through, and then like bam, like just like. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, how did that happen? Like, I don't know. Maybe it was spicy food. <laughs> dude, honestly, like, I feel like you definitely, uh, you definitely, if you checked it out, you would, you would laugh for sure. Like, no joke. Um, then uh, last on my list that I have here um, is Wolf's Children. Have you ever heard of that? I've heard of it. I haven't seen it. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I'm confusing it with another one that has wolf in the name. Wolf's Rain. Wolf's Rain. Yes. Yep. I saw that once, the first episode. I thought it was cool because was, I was in college when I had a friend recommend it to me um, because that was like her favorite show or whatever. And I was like, oh, okay, like I'll check it out, I guess. And then I like wa- I started watching it and I was like, oh, it's pretty cool. But like I haven't seen it since. So I like totally forgot like what happens. But, but yeah, that's Wolf's Rain. This is Wolf's Children. So context alone, since none of us have heard of it, I don't know. I feel like, uh, yeah, it definitely might take it a little bit too far for for whatever might ha- ha- actually happen. I, I actually don't know. Uh, if anyone in the chat does, please fill us in because, um, yeah, it'd be it'd be cool to, I guess, see what it's about and then kind of go from there. I, well, I have the Wikipedia page up. Okay, it's well, like a young lady is raising two basically werewolf kids. Like two half wolf children because their werewolf father died. Oh, I guess shenanigans ensue. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the bomb to drop over here. Yeah. Um. All um, right. Well. Maybe the kids start eating people. I mean, I. I mean, that's pretty normal for anime. Then. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, oh, another wolf kids eating a kid. <laughs> yep, seen this before. <laughs> uh, there was one anime that I remember being hyper violent. Thankfully, I didn't watch it because I learned my lesson finally with Elfin Lied. I didn't need to go down the rabbit hole. It was like Blood Plus C. Oh, Blood Plus? Was it any good? I oh man, I love Blood Plus. Like what the the monsters that were like turning people into finger puppets? Okay, I didn't see that, but that's that's because it's C though. Blood Plus C because there's Blood Plus and then there's Blood C. I think, right? I I I know I'm like probably wrong on that, but blood yeah, Blood Plus. I wouldn't say it goes far, but then again, I haven't finished it. But I did. Yeah, see- it was Blood C. <sighs> yeah. It, there's a. Uh, th- I've only seen like the first few episodes, and basically the story is uh, Saya. I believe her the name. Like the main character is a, is a female. She's like from high school. Apparently, she was like one of or like has demon blood in her or something. And there was a time like way back in the day that like there was like a war between humans and demons, and then like. Years have gone past. Everything's civilized. It's in the current time. And here's Saya. Like, oh, she was adopted, whatever. She lives with, like, her adopted father or adopted father, her, like, adoptive sister, like, pretend sister, whatever. And she's, like, a, a regular, like, high school girl, whatever. And then one day, like, reports start showing up of, like, these random killings of people, like, on the street that just are, like, found mangled and eaten up and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, this is- Oh hell no! I'd watch it. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, that's that's crazy. But but yeah, uh, going back to to the blood plus, um, and then like then basically she's I guess like cornered in a situation where like this demon thing is about to like get her next, and then this dude comes out of nowhere who was like I guess her servant at one point. I guess from like a previous time, I might be getting that part wrong. I don't know. I don't remember if it was like a love, a former love interest, or if it actually was a servant. I'm pretty sure it was like a servant, because um, this dude seemed way too old. But then again, if she's way, uh, it doesn't matter. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but yeah. So he comes in right, and he like knocks back the the demon for a little bit to like stall for time, and out of his like casket thing that he's carrying, he has like her sword that literally. When he took her hand, or I think it was her hand. I don't, it's been so long since this episode one. Either way, there's contact between her and the sword where the blood gets then poured into the sword. And then she remem- She has like this thing that just clicks and then she's like, give me my sword. Like all, all of a sudden and she just goes to town <laughs> and the gun is, oh my God, it's so good. I, I was like, wow, like this is, bl- I remember, I wa- it used to be on Toonami. Really? 
or Adult Swim. Adult okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Say yeah. Toonami had yeah. this violent yeah. enemy yeah. on there. What? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, there was freaking demons eating people like corn on the cob. And yeah. then there was one demon that was like took a girl and just like smash, 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 and then ripped her up. And then took another girl, just like ripped her in half by her legs. <sighs> yeah, same. Yeah, sounds about right. But yeah, you, you, would de- of- you would definitely love it. You would definitely <laughs> love it. You That's would. the kind of ultra violence that makes me queasy. I'm like, ah, I don't need that in my brain space. Because I know there's, there's, I know there's a, there's just regular blood. There's an anime called Blood. Yeah. Yeah, Blood. blood plus. Yeah, yeah. And then no, but then there's Blood Plus that happens. Okay. Like, I don't know if it directly relates to it. But it's like almost on some like vampire type stuff, I guess. And then, uh, like Blood the Last Vampire, yeah, I think so. I think so. Like, again, I could be totally wrong because, again, these are things that I have not seen, so like, don't quote me. But Blood Plus, yes, it is definitely it's so good that, um, the first box set is like you can't find it anywhere, and if you do, it's like worth like four to six hundred dollars really i have part two because that's apparently easier to find and to and like i bought it on sale at anime next like like however many cons ago because a guy that was selling it had a like you know he had it wasn't like it was like a rare thing like he was he sold to me like 30 bucks (laughs) that's so usually the typical con price but now but yeah but like now if you go look online i'm sure it's like it's 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 priced way higher than than that i got lucky that's why i was like okay i actually bought it for 30 bucks and you know, I didn't have to worry about it, but yeah. I Part scarred one. myself up pretty good with that rehash of Blood Plus C. <laughs> so I just looked up Hamtaro pictures. Literally, I looked up Hamtaro picture for some eye bleach. And I'm looking at cells at work now, so I feel a little bit better. Okay. Is Hamtaro in an AE86? <laughs> you know what? I that up. Shout outs to last week's episode. <laughs> Speaking of Hamtaro, I got a comedy that I think might have gone a little too far. This is another like adult anime, but have you guys seen Ibichu? No. It's like that adult Hamtaro show. Was it on Adult Swim? No, 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 no. I've only seen it in Japanese, so I'm not sure if it had any other outlets. Okay, then probably not. But like the hamster is, it can talk. I feel like I've heard of this. And whenever the she walks out, the hamster cleans the house, but in a very like risque kind of like thing. Like okay. guy ends up calling, and uh, I guess it's like the most shared video on Facebook. Is where you know the guy's kind of playing with himself on the other line, and he, and he's like, "Say, say Monko." <laughs> For those of you who don't know what that is, I can't. I, I'm not going to tell you what that is. So Google the hamster turns around and goes, "Monko," <laughs> <laughs> and then you just see the drip come out of the phone. <laughs> it's it's pretty weird. It's funny, but it's pretty weird. It's on the same level, I think, as Golden Boy. Okay. Well, yeah, then I would definitely constitute that as going too far. I feel like we need, like, a soundboard and a button. Be like, go too far. <laughs> like, hit that. Yeah. How about X? The movie X. I've actually never seen it. I know of Samurai I X. I know of it. Not Samurai X. I know. Just X. Never, no. mm-hmm. About the two friends where one split by light and the other one split by dark. And one is a dude's sister, and, and the other one's his girlfriend, and she ends up getting her head cut off and all this other crazy stuff. Nope, never heard of it. Really? It's a, it's an older anime. I mean, it, it's I'm going to say early 2000s is when I saw it. Okay. What what about Jinro? Never heard of that either. I've heard of it. That looks really good. I want to check it out. I have it. I'll let you borrow it. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that's a very political kind of movie. Like it, it, movie. It, it makes you feel kind of weird when you're watching it. Uh, like, a, cause I don't know. I think it constitutes under that going too far mm-hmm. because I think going too far in an anime doesn't have to just be violence yeah, and blood. It's yeah. just that you, when you're watching Jin Ro, you have the, it's a great film. It's just, it gives you that kind of like weird, like, why am I watching this? Like what? what, what? But then at the end you're like, you know, I'm kind of glad I watched this, but why did I watch this? Yeah. Is it like one of those shows that just makes you think? Yes. Okay. That's why that's why I kind of brought up Death Note only because it when I watched it as like I think I was like 12 when I first like got onto it. Mm-hmm. Um it made me think because I was so used to seeing shows that like there was a clear good guy and there was a clear bad guy. Yeah. And you knew who you were supposed to be supporting throughout the entirety of the show or whatever. 
and like you know from start to finish or however long it is like that's what it is like you know point blank like red is red blue is blue right right but then death note i would watch it and i'd be like oh like lights the good guy he's the main character so like i'm supposed to follow like his whole like belief that he's trying to rid the world of bad people and then yeah. you realize that he's turning his idealistic view of like cleaning up the world it then becomes a game of he's now killing anyone that's against him yeah which then i was like wow so is l because l's not technically a bad guy anyway l's just like a detective who's just trying to crack the case and figure out yeah. who kira is and like that really messed with me especially like towards the end like when it was about to end and like why well, i guess i can't spoil it but what i will say is is that you're just like wow like you're you're left with wanting more because death knows such a really good series mm -hmm. like there's I, I was like the whole show i was like they could have done this and they could have elongated it they could have done that like why didn't they um but even after that like they still made a couple other adaptations whether it was movie or drama um that were some were better than others not talking about the netflix one yeah. <laughs> But, uh, nonetheless, it was a show, like I said, that it, it, it definitely had you thinking, like, like what is actually good then? Because at that, if that's the case, then, like, he's still just killing mad people. So I guess that's not, like, a good well, what's thing Well, what's really anymore. weird about Death Note is just, like, yeah, lots of, like, everybody, just so many people die in that anime. But you don't even think about it because it's so cerebral. Yeah, and, like, he did it in such a way, like, you know, like, it, it was almost painless because it's not like he actually physically had to like take a weapon like a gun or a sword or anything that could like dismember somebody and mm -hmm. just like kill them himself he all he had to do was know their name face and just write their name in a book and and he could specify which he did several on several occasions especially the dude with the bus fortunately for him <laughs> it, wrong place wrong time <laughs> boom right <laughs> And then there were times where, like, if you if you didn't specify, they just died of a heart attack. Yeah. So I I I feel like if if it would have been a little bit differently if they had if they had introduced that aspect to the show where it was like, like, what if he was like presented with an opportunity to just like kill the person himself because at this point it's like, well, I've been writing these names in, so I'm not I'm not physically doing anything. But if he were to, would he constitute that as being like, oh, it's the same thing? Or would he actually then feel like, oh, no, like, because then I would actually be a murderer mm -hmm. because I'm actually killing them like my own. Like, I'm using something of, a, of another world or something like that. That's like, you know, like, I feel like if they ever had that kind of uh, dynamic involved with, with the show, I feel like that would have literally add, just added more to the entirety of the series like that's like one of the things that i always thought that they were gonna maybe address mm -hmm. or handle and they never did but still even without that it was still godlike like yeah. it was still really good so i that's that's why like i kind of put it i had to throw that in the mix and question it and ask you guys how you felt about it because you know I, it could and it i mean it doesn't really because it's like again it's like not it's not like, you know, Akira brain splattering, you know, <laughs> scenes or anything like that. It's like blood it's, geysers. <laughs> yeah. So All good. Of yeah. Our star. yeah. Maybe, well, maybe you guys should tell everyone to watch the Death Note movie from Netflix and how wonderfully great that was. <laughs> That's how I got into Death Note in reverse, though. <laughs> you actually like the movie? Oh, wait, no, you watched first, it first. Yeah, I watched the live action first. Oh, like, <laughs> I'm That's actually kind of cool, but then I got into the anime. I'm like, the anime is much better. Yeah. Yes, for those of us who watched the anime first and then saw the movie, everybody <laughs> was on sorry. the same page. Like, no, no, it, it's actually funny that you, that you brought that up because because, like, a lot of people are like that. Oh, did you see the, de the, the Death Note movie on Netflix? I'm like, yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> like, did, did you guys see the anime? They're like, no, not yet. I'm halfway through the season. So you liked the movie? Like, oh, it was great. But then you talk to anime people who watch the anime series first, yeah. and they're like, no, no, it was bad. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. What was this? You know, and it, it, it's always a mix, though. The, nobody's, like, divided. Eh, well, I guess it was all right. Nobody ever says that. They either loved it or they hated it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I actually said that. I give that. them, like, a C-plus for effort. 
Because they're like they're trying to get You're people generous. that haven't, yeah, right. <laughs> like that maybe wouldn't didn't get into Death Note before. Maybe they're too dumb to understand what Death Note was. But man, they dumbed down Kira so bad. I mean, like the girl was the supposed to be dumb girl was supposed was more like Kira than Kira was. Uh huh. <laughs> How does that Part happen? Of why that was bad. It was like you stupid. You think it was the wrong head, dude. <laughs> and that's the thing. Mike I would never do that. I realized it once I finished watching it. I was like, you know what? If anybody was to see this movie before actually reading the manga or watching the original anime adaptation, they wouldn't. They would probably not even think anything negatively of it even if it was like oh this movie was still like pretty poorly done but then again like what are they basing it off of you know like we already seen it <laughs> we we're like go like i always i always say like whenever you're giving something a chance like don't have any expectations or especially if it's like an adaptation like you know but like you can't help it because like human natural instincts like you're gonna if you've seen something before and you're gonna see something that's relating to it you're gonna make the natural connections like right. if I've read a comic book about Spider Man and I yeah. go see any of the films and I pick it apart I'm like how come like like how come how come his uncle is still alive like yeah. where is the where is the like with great power comes great responsibility how come he said with great cheetos there's great cereal like it doesn't make sense <laughs> right right like you, yeah. if they said that in the movie you'd be like no like but if you li- if you heard the man say that before reading any of his backstory you'd be like okay that's that doesn't even make sense in the first place. Like, why would he even say anything about Cheetos <laughs> and cereal? But like, you'd be like, okay, like whatever. You'd get over it, you yeah. know. And you'd keep watching the movie. With with uh, with Death Note, it was like if you saw the Netflix adaptation before anything else, you there was a there was a, a higher chance of you thinking that it was all right, and it might have given you an interest like yourself, mm-hmm. where you go in and you watch the original, and then it is at that point that you realize, wow. The uh, live action movie was uh, pretty far off from the original altogether, you know, because like they, 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 it's like, like this is what obsessed me the most is like knowing, knowingly that <laughs> there was like, like a room full of people, probably like a room no bigger than this, right, that we're in now. There was a table, many chairs, and an executive board. A, a, a team of people that were behind the pre-production <laughs> of this film. And they each individually said yes. <laughs> to me, it honestly reminds me a lot of the Attack on Titan live action movie. Like, it's the same thing for that. Like, if you see the anybody who's not seen the anime, they watch the actual movie. It's the same thing. Oh, the Attack on Titan movie was excellent. And then you watch the anime people first, and they're like, no, this movie was horrible. I had nothing to do with the anime at all. I can tell you that right now that you're absolutely right, because when I saw it, with my mom and my brother when we were in Japan for the first time and we saw it, no subs or anything. So it was a challenge as it was, but I mean, I was like, I'm a fan. I need to see this right now, right? And I'm watching it. She didn't think anything was wrong with it because she didn't ever didn't see, see it. the anime, right? And I was like, mom, the whole train ride back to the hotel, dude, it was literally like, okay, nope. Like this is this is everything that was wrong with this movie. Like I, I And she was like, wow, like I had no idea. And I was like, well, now you know. And she's like, well, I mean, it's it's a shame. That's what she said. It's a, <laughs> it's a shame. I was like, yes, mom, you're absolutely right. It was definitely a shame. My brother was so mad that he he just straight up fell asleep during the film and woke up upset because he was like, I can't believe we watched this. Explicit, explicit, explicit. I'm not going to say it on the radio. But he was just cussing it up and down. At first, I was trying to give it a chance. Until it got to Levi's character. <laughs> that was one of my big points. Uh, when when they introduced Levi and he had his attitude, it was completely 100% the total opposite uh-huh. of the show. And you're like, wait, what? When did Levi become, like, fluffy? <laughs> Dude, let me tell you something. As, as a Levi fan, because I'm sure everyone's favorite character is Levi in Attack on Titan. That man is cold to the bone. Awesome, right? As soon as he showed up on the screen and they introduced us to this other pretend looking <laughs> freaking guy had the same name, I was like, 
Oh my <laughs> God. Like, my brother didn't even have to see it. I had to, because I was like, all right, you know what? I'm like, I'm like, I'm going to give it a chance, you know, because I'm here. We paid money to freaking watch this. And I'm just like, what are they doing? Like, they caught, like, again, same team of people, consciously. You know what? This actually goes along with the topic of this whole show tonight. Because that, all these bad adaptations go too far. Dragon yeah. Ball the movie. Stop. <laughs> they all go too far. Because they're literally, it's like, why Like why, why are we getting these people that are making these executive decisions to say, okay, this is the source material. You know what? They close it. They're like, they throw out the window. Let's just, let's, let's just do Wing whatever. It. Someone give me the cliff notes. Yeah, like seriously, like what's the what's the synopsis of this story? Okay. They looked at a poster. I'm like, all right, I got it. I got a script right now. Did you see the live action movie for Attack on Titan? No. Don't oh. even bother. <laughs> I had friends wait, wait, that were yeah. big Attack on Titan fans. They're like, that movie was horrible. I'm like, ooh. You know what? This is a perfect example here. We can actually test a theory. Since you haven't watched Attack on Titan, oh! I want you to watch the movie first. Okay. Yeah. It's there's two parts to it, right? Yeah, yeah, two yeah. parts. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I can tell you right now, that song's not in there. Yeah, nope. But I, I, I kind of want you to see the film because I'm curious to see how you are gonna like it. You know what? That's actually very true. I do too. I vouch for this because you did you did it with Death Note. You might as well just do it Attack on Titan. Even though you say you only watched the first episode of Attack on Titan, trust me, when you watch this movie, you're gonna be like, oh, like what happened to the first episode? Because <laughs> so. <laughs> So go ahead. So just just do yeah. I, where uh, is it on Netflix? No, I don't even think no. it is. Uh, you'd, have to, you'd have to just find it somewhere. Yeah, to watch I'm it. I'm sure someone has. I'm it sure on it's on YouTube. sale somewhere because no one yeah. wants it on their shelves anymore. Someone's <laughs> gonna give me two dollars to take it from them. Yes, exactly. You know, I remember Walmart had the Blu-rays. Oh, <laughs> they, oh they went from thirty-five dollars to thirty dollars to twenty-five dollars. To twenty dollars, to nineteen dollars, to fifteen dollars, and that that rack never moved. It was like part wow. one, and you're like, "Wow, nobody's buying this." And then part two came out, and then you're like, "Wow, no one's definitely buying this one either." <laughs> that's it's, bad. That's 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 a whole nother way of taking it too far. Just make just well, trying to adapt something. I might have grabbed it if it was in the five dollar bin. You know what? I'm going to look and see if it's in there. And if it is, I will buy it just for this reason. Yeah. No, seriously. It's it's, it's like one of those things that, like, as fans, you you like, you like almost you have feel expectations. like. Yeah, you got expectations. Like, because, okay, did you, did, okay, you know, you don't, you didn't watch Bleach. Or did you? I uh, I seen a decent amount of it before it aired in the United States. Okay, so did so did you see the 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 movie that came out the live action no. one? No. Okay. I was looking at that though. That is that was on Netflix for a brief period of time. Yeah. So this wasn't um this does not go far at all because I will say that Bleach is one of the good examples um that where they took they took the source material and they adapted it in a very fine manner. There was nothing that they. Um, that they went away from too hard, or they they strayed away from it too they much. They actually improved. There was a lot material. of things that I liked about it. Um, and if you, if you try to relate it too hard with the original, then it comes a, it, it comes down to being more of like a question of like, okay, do you understand that this is a film? Do you understand that they can't fit over four hundred hours worth of anime episodes into a two hour film. Like, do you understand that? And like and then when you ask these these kind of questions to the people that are like trying to nitpick it and like, oh but they didn't do this, they didn't do that, or he made boobs aren't big enough, blah blah blah. <laughs> I'm like I'm like, come on, dude. Like and then and they you know you just you just you just be honest and spit the facts. And like be like, the story's all there. They hit all the main plot points and all, like all of the characters are acting how they're supposed to and they even go as far as even trying to make sure that they, like they, they basically look like their anime counterparts. So it's like, is it a bad? Is it a bad an adaptation? No, not at all. Even the fighting was good. The action was good. They even tried the, the soundtrack was unique to to itself. But they, it's almost like they even had like small little nods at the anime soundtrack with how some, with how some of the tracks sounded similar to each other. So I mean. Bleach was a was a good example. So oh, it, it was a um, 
the opposite of going too far. Dragon Ball Evolution, that's going too far because what the heck was that? It was a great movie. <laughs> now you're just being a troll. Yeah. A goblin. <laughs> uh, I'm going to shove a torch in your face. <laughs> Not before I slam someone into the rock wall. Oh, God. You know, honestly, for a half second, I thought he was going to rip her legs off. Right before her face meets, like, Geodude. What? Yeah. <laughs> Like, I thought some really hyper-violent stuff was about to go down before that, and I'm like, oh, Lord, please, no. Okay, her legs are still intact. All right. <laughs> wow. She hit that rock wall hard. I was laughing, though. Like, I, I, I just, I don't know why. Maybe I'm Like, she tried to kick him. He's the side of the freaking cave, and I'm like, girl, I don't know what you think you're going to do. <laughs> Did you see the Avengers movie where uh, Hulk fights Loki? Of course. That is the only thing I was thinking yes. about when that goblin was ringing her bell against the rocks. Like, oh. okay, it's so Hulk dead. and Loki. Yeah, man. I was amused. I kind of wanted to see more blood, though. Oh, my God. That poor girl. <laughs> she was not having a good day. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I can't, I can't think of any others uh, that I feel like would be on the fence or like that, that have gone too far. Yeah, I don't... There's a whole underbelly we haven't talked about. But there's just too many. It just really depends on the anime. Because there's a lot of, like, wholesome stuff, like Cells at Work. And then there's a lot of really dark stuff, like Blood Sea. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what the plot is, besides... <laughs> she just had a flashback to the computer yeah. video. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It wasn't even a video. It was a freaking gift. Oh, uh, yeah. No. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't realize that uh, Blood Sea was like so much worse than like Blood Plus. I mean, then again, I haven't seen like the the entirety of Blood. Like Plus. honestly, I'm curious as what the plot is because all I see are various ways in which humans are human bodies are just like torn to shreds. That I, well, have you guys ever heard of the one anime called like Higarashi something something? It's like a long title. Um, it's like, okay, I haven't watched it, but I had friend in college that was a huge fan of it, and it was almost like he was obsessed with it, not gonna lie, and- Oh, he, God, when they cry? Yes! No, God, please! That show no. goes way too far. No. Look, I will tell you this, from my understanding of the show, this is, this, is, this is like an outsider looking in, or not even gonna lie, it was not even an outsider- these were my friends. Here, look, Uchi, watch this show. And I can't move because they're in my face about it. And then, look at that. Look, she's, she's, she's. It's right. called When They Cry? Yes. All right, I'm looking this up right now. It's Crazy a girl doing this with a knife. Ah, ah, ah. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to find this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the kind of show where I think it was like every episode, it's like a different scenario. Um, like, it's like a whole different story. It's like, like what, what's a show that does that? Like, uh, I am curled up in the fetal position <laughs> behind the board. There, there's Cry like, in the corner? What? <laughs> no, I'm curled in the fetal position. Yeah, there's um, there's a show that does this in the modern era. Like, um, uh, oh, don't watch it. Here. <laughs> I can't see what Stone I'm watching. <laughs> yeah, but. There's a there's always a, it's, it's like a different scenario every episode where it's like um a girl ripping her nails off yeah, every every yeah every episode's different and they it, it's always gruesome and it definitely goes too far one one that one that I remember was like it was like a, it was like a oh man it was it was so I mean they're all bad like it was like, it, like bad as in like it was like terrible like oh my god like I can't believe I'm like watching this. like <laughs> there was the one that I remember was a uh, girl had a mom. Her mom was terrible to her her whole life. And then some witch came down and gave her, like, the daughter these, like, special powers. Or, like, could grant her any wish. Mm -hmm. And the mom, of course, was being, like, her terrible self and would, like, I guess torment her or whatever. And then I guess she wished that she would get, like, tortured back and killed. She dies. And then she brings her back to life just to do it again and again and again. And the one, uh, the one line I actually randomly remember is that 
she was like, I could kill you as many times as I possibly can, and it still won't amount to all of the things that you've ever done to me. And I was like, wow, that's crazy. I'm never watching this again. Yeah. It's like, time to watch Hamtaro cute videos. Yeah, like, I was, I was, and again, like, this is also a part of a time where it was, like, the complete polar opposite of what I was used to. Like, I was like, they make anime like this? Like, I'm going, I'm a freshman in college, and I'm over here, like, I got Naruto under my belt, Fist and North Star under my belt. I'm like, why, you know, Bleach. Like, I'm, I'm like, I'm a pure shonen to the core, right? This dude shows me this, I'm like, what is this? <laughs> like I was so lost. Like, I was shook. I yeah, because I was like, why? Do, why would they actually make this? Like this is crazy, and people like support it. Like that's insane. Like, Are you still God. friends with this guy? I mean, I haven't talked to him in years, but I'm pretty sure me and him be really good friends. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually just watched that scene. Uh, Rika Riku's suicide. Whatever it is. Wow. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so for those of you who haven't seen it, it's pretty obnoxious. Yeah. Uh, definitely messed up. Nihilistic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to watch it. <laughs> oh, God. Well, just letting you know, every episode is different, like I said. Like, every every episode brings a new scenario. It's like new characters, all that. It's like one of those shows. That show okay. makes me just want to, like, kiss my fingernails and tell them how much I love them. <laughs> I'm not too sure I'm going to watch the whole series because that was pretty disturbing. (laughs) Wow, I'm impressed. I watch a lot of anime, but that was like, what? (laughs) My God, but why? I I just brought that up and I actually got Ray. Look at that. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. That's crazy. That's bad. Japan, you did it bad. Yeah. C- can we talk about that scene? Like, am I allowed to discuss that? I wouldn't. To be all right. Honest. All right. Then we're going to move right we'll along. We'll have to get a therapy session. We'll have to get, like, an anime therapist. I might need a therapist after <laughs> watching that. Like, wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we do have, like, five minutes. So do you want to, like, talk about some things that are not as, uh, that are not as gruesome? Or- <laughs> yes. You guys talk about something not gruesome. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. So it's probably old news now, Mm. but I'm sorry. I thought Darling in the Franks was really, really good. Please tell me you've seen that. I've only seen episode one. Really? Why? Why? You don't like it? No. No. I, I, I mean, the last three episodes have you wondering, like, what? What am I watching? What is going on? And then everything like makes sense at the end. Yeah. But it's 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 very good. How about like Hinako Note? No. Uh, Hinako Note I thought was really really good. Uh, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. I thought you were gonna say Hikaru no Go. I was like, wait, isn't that like a that's like a board game, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that I, I I've seen a few episodes of, but no. Wait, why? So wait, why do you bring up Darling in the Franks? Just because, well, you know, everybody said let's not let's change it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. So, Darling in the Franx is almost like a Franks, however you say it. It's uh, it's kind of like one of those. It starts out kind of weird, and you're like, I don't really know where this is going, and then like you learn to love the characters, and then like everything comes together, and then everything's ripped apart, and then everything comes, you know, typical anime. Ah. And at the end, like it really like takes a turn for the the, the weird. You're like, ah, okay. where did that come from? Why is this currently happening? Yeah, yeah I think I read, I watched a video on that. They're like, why would you do that to the character? That doesn't make any sense. Uh. It didn't until the very last episode. Like, okay. we, we, I was watching it as it was coming out. Uh. And see, so I think it was like episode 20, 22 or 21 is where it started getting like real weird. And then everybody was talking about it. And like, what? Why? Is, are they setting this up for like a sequel? You know, like a season two? Is that uh, going to happen? And then you get the next episode and you're like, what? W- why is this still going on? And yeah. then the final episode, you're oh. I love those moments. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to watch it. <laughs> well, guys, we're going to need to wrap it up because the next crew is coming in. Gotcha. Um, so this is a uh, shout out time or like, yeah, shout it out time, promote, shout, do all the things. All right, Ray, you first. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let's shout out to everybody that commented tonight. That was, uh, there's a bunch of comments on tonight's show. Yes. Yeah. yeah plug, plug your, uh, plug your stuff. Plug my stuff. Yeah, like your Instagram. Oh right. yeah, on, yeah, that's doing? right. So in what, case, what are you doing? Uh, hey, forget about it. Let me tell you. <laughs> it's a me, Mario. <laughs> it's a me. 
me, Mario. Uh, so yeah, follow me on Instagram, guys. Uh, Initial Dream eighty uh, six. As we spoke in last week's episode, I do have the Initial D car, so make sure you check that out. And uh, I'm just going to keep imitating Optimus Prime. So, Ryan Uchi, <laughs> <laughs> grab Bumblebee and meet us at the rendezvous. Oh my god, <laughs> dude! I swear this. We need this guy to just do some voices. Yes, but, um, he can be the opening. Can be the opening intro. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, you guys can follow me on just about everything: uh, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. And Facebook, all Uchi games. Uh, obviously, I just do a bunch of you know different anime, video game related content. And I'm streaming tonight. My Hero Academia Wants Justice is coming out. Well, it's, it it is out. It's actually waiting for me at GameStop for the 9 p.m. release. What what? Um, I'll be streaming that tonight. Oh yeah, so follow me on Twitch as well, Uchi Games. So, and we'll be here next week again. What? So, yeah, I'm on Instagram as Future Dash Ashley, and Facebook and stuff. Ashley, <laughs> whatever you don't have to follow me. Oh I'm my just god, just like, be, be a little more enthusiastic, will you? I'm like, ah, I'm not good with the social medias. I just talk to the air. Give us any suggestions if there, are, if there are any topics or anything you guys want us to talk about for next week. Uh, just feel free, hit, hit any of us yeah, up. Yeah, send us some love, leave comments in chat. Uh, go to wild.fm, send us an email. It's like, yo, talk about this anime, all that good stuff. And now we're going to wrap it up. I'm playing something happy. This is the opening of at work. Nice. It's like a nice palate cleanser. <laughs> and I guess we'll see Scarred. you guys next week. Peace. <laughs> see you guys. You were shot.